All right, guys, we are back for some more Dokkan stuff. So I got the face cam situated on one of these, like, uh, news-type videos. Shout out to my boys, uh, both uh, First Warden and uh, Alex, the Gaming Cloud. They both helped me get the face cam issue sorted out. So I'm going to try this on, like, these uh, one of these, like, news-type videos. I'll see uh, how it works. You know, you guys tell me if you like it. Like, when I'm covering, like, new units or something like this, uh, do you want me to use a face cam or what? Like, it's it's all good. It's whatever. It's, it's very easy to set up. So, what we have is, uh, we had two things come out yesterday. Well, yeah, I, yeah, I could say yesterday, because, I mean, y'all can see it's 6 a.m. for me, so. Um, what we have is a new kind of, like, uh, campaign. You know, one of these login bonuses, missions, you guys know the same deal. And then also, of course, we do have Super Saiyan 3 Bardock and a couple of other... Uh, new Dokkan Awakenings as well. So let's um, let's take a look at it all. Let's start with the uh, this right here. Oh, let me uh, toss that upvote. Uh, so what we have is a campaign right here. Uh, I think this might be the... Yeah, this is a login bonus uh, announcement thing. Uh, so we've got a campaign. We have a login bonus with some... It, it's, it's okay. None of these login bonuses are ever like outstandingly amazing except for ones that contain like tickets right like i know a lot of people didn't like the thank you celebration on global but like it was giving you tickets which you could use to summon uh which is actually pretty good so like outside of this it's just you know supreme kai metal elder kai metal there might be like an elder kai in there some dragon stones nothing really you know out of this world uh there are these uh treasure uh gem missions uh that you could do daily now, this is actually interesting. There is a lot of uh, incredible gems that you can get per day. I believe if you do it, uh, like it's like one, three, and five times, you can get up to like 10 incredible gems from daily missions, as well as doing it up to uh, doing the story up to 50 times, uh, all the way up to uh, the 14th of December. So, a ton of incredible gems to get. And they did refresh the Baba Shop, actually. So the Baba Shop has a significant amount of Elder Kais. I believe there was actually 14 Elder Kais put in the Baba Shop, as well as uh, duplicates of all the other Baba Shop SSRs. Um, there's also a lot of Elder Kai and Supreme Kai medals. For me specifically, that's a big deal, because I don't have a lot of uh, Supreme or Elder Kai medals. You know, my account is still relatively fresh by this point i've summoned so much that i've got a lot of the units in the game so i'm getting to the point now where pretty soon i won't need as many elder kai and supreme kai medals but you know eventually farming unit super attacks that will be something that's important uh all right so we have the dokkan fest right here um of course before we knew that it was bardock plus uh angel golden frieza let me go ahead and open up uh dbz space right here because the banner is actually already out at the time of me recording this video i would say it's a pretty strong banner as well um definitely a lot of really good units on here so we have uh angel golden frieza we got super saiyan 3 bardock so this is the first banner in dokkan history that has two category leaders on it that's pretty good we have uh tech angel super saiyan 3 goku which is good for me because i still have not managed to pull this guy now i'm up at like uh 2,000 stones or something crazy on banners without having pulled this guy, but I'm probably gonna uh, come back and just summon on this banner until I get him, because I, I definitely need him. In Super Saiyan Blue, Vegeta is fodder. Rage Trunks is also fodder, but I don't have him, so I'll definitely try and get him as well. Uh, Super Saiyan 3, Vegeta. Now, he low-key is kind of interesting, because... He, if he got an extreme uh, Z Awakening, like Super Saiyan 3 AGL Goku, he could be a fucking monster. So, I mean, that's low-key. He might not be trash. He's already pretty good, you know, defensive unit, defensive option. But he really could be pretty good soon. Uh, and then Intelligence Janemba, another unit actually I think is a candidate for Extreme Z Awakening. Uh, pretty good. I actually did pull him when I summoned on this banner, um, which I was pretty excited about. Uh, and then a couple of SRs. Uh, real quick, so I noticed on Global, uh, the recent banner actually did have all of the removed SSRs. I've talked about this before and people didn't know what I was talking about. Where like units like Majub, Toa, Mira, Kaioken Goku, Turles, units like that are not on Dokkan Fest banners usually. They're only on Double Rates banners or LR banners. But for some reason, on the Gogeta and Janema banners on Global, all of the removed units were actually put into the summon pool. And yeah, looks like here on JP, 
uh, the removed units are not in the summon pool. That's fine. Boy, I have I still don't have Tech Vegito. I certainly would fucking love to get Tech Vegito. Uh, all right, so that is the banner. Uh, of course, we have the Dokkan event as well, the Super Saiyan 3 Bardock uh, event. Pretty easy, uh, not too tough, but it's fun. Definitely very fun. I like what they did with it. Uh, the next thing we have is the Super Saiyan 3 uh, category banner, which is, what, like four days away? Uh, I assume this is going to be like the other category banners have been, where uh, it'll be GSSR, plus there will be three multis for 30 stones each. So I'm probably going to... I don't have the AGL Super Saiyan 3 Goku, so for sure I'll do those three uh, 30 uh, stone multis, and then I might go until I get that AGL Super Saiyan 3 GT Goku, uh, because he is, he does get a Dokkan Awakening, which we'll cover in a second here, um, and the LRs also will be on that banner. Uh, one day I'll pull LR Broly and LR Majin Vegeta, one day I'll get them, and I'll, it'll be very exciting for me. Uh, Alright, so of course we have the Baba Shop reset as well. Tons of new uh, Elder Kais and stuff in there. Uh, we also have the 22nd World Tournament, which is December 8th to December 10th. This is one thing I love about JP. We don't have those damn 10-year global 5-day tournaments that y'all have. That's just a fucking nightmare. So that is next weekend. Okay, 8th, 9th, 10th. Gotcha. That, that won't be a problem at all. Uh, now, what's interesting about this is we do have Forearm TN here. So now, the last tournament was the 21st tournament. They released uh, Jackie Chun, uh, New Yamcha, uh, Ranfan, a couple of units that participated in the 21st tournament in Dragon Ball. Well, in Dragon Ball, the 22nd World Tournament, that's the one that uh, Tien, Ten Shinhan, wins. So we have Forearm Tien. Uh, I can see a new Chaozu coming, possibly a new Krillin card. There could be some really cool, interesting new units coming. Now, oh, damn, sorry, my eyes are bothering me a little bit. But now, there's also another interesting thing for me to scroll up here and look at. They mentioned it again, that we're, there's an LR right here. There's an LR you can obtain from the tournament. Like, it starts as an SSR, and you'll be able to get it up to an LR. So, some people are thinking it could be the TN. It could be. Um, this TN, he, he, there's several possibilities. He could be the top 10,000 tournament reward card. He could be in the Dragon Ball Saga Summon banner like the new Jackie Chun was. Or he could be a local uh, ranking reward and he could be the unit that might become the new LR replacing LR Piccolo. So it remains to be seen what actually is going to be the case with this. Personally, um, I think this TN will be a new featured unit on the Dragon Ball Saga banner. Uh, I think we will get the LR, but it'll be something different. And uh, I think the 10, 000, the top 10,000 reward card will also be different. Uh, I don't think TN is either the LR or the top 10,000 reward card. But again, that that's just what I'm thinking. That might that could be wrong. Uh, he, for all we know, he could be the LR or whatever. Uh, we have the Grace Amen story and the Resurrection F story. Uh, by this point, I would imagine most people have these done. But, you know, maybe a lot of people have started playing uh, JP Dokkan recently with the 300 free stones. Hang on one sec. So... With the 300 free stones, obviously, you guys could do these events. Uh, like, the Resurrection F event is very old. There's only, like, six stones, I think, you can get from that event or something like that. It doesn't give you one per stage like new events do. Uh, the Great Saiyan Man story event, I guess you could get that SDR Great Saiyan Man, who could be useful in the right situation, I guess. You never know. You never know. Uh, we also have a Dragonstone sale, which is cool, but, you know, I'm going to tell y'all, uh, you know, just, hold on. Come on, come on in, come on in. Between you and me, uh, 1,000 stones, check in the description. We got y'all. Our, our sale, nah. Th this this sale right here, that's nothing. 1,000 stones. check there. That's, that's where you can get the cheap stones. Now, the next thing we got, this is really fucking clutch. We got the three times rank EXP. I'm very, very excited about that. Um, so now I can get above like rank 500. Plus, I still want to grind all these incredible gems. To get my Super Saiyan 3 Bardock to SA10. Because there's all the Elder Kai's in the Baba Shop now. And uh, here is the Treasure Gem Missions right here. So yeah, daily you want to do it three times. That'll give you 10 gems. And then clearing it a total of 50 times will give you... Uh, what do we got? 15, 35, um, 65, 105. So 155 gems they'll give you for clearing the quests 50 times. That's what's up. 
And then, yeah, the new TM, he could be either the LR or a top 10, or he could be in the Dragon Ball Saga banner. That's not mentioned here, but he very well could be, because that's what Jackie Chun was as well. Uh, all right, so that covers all of that. Now we have the data download, which is five new units. Um, we have the SSR, Intelligence uh, Bardock. This is the one you pull right here. Uh, we have the TUR Super Saiyan 3 Bardock right here. Uh, that blade shit is so damn cool. I don't care what anyone says. Even if, obviously, we've seen a lot of it with Rose, Goku, Black, and stuff now, it's still fucking awesome. Uh, the SR Bardock, actually, Dokkan awakens into Super Saiyan 3 Bardock now. The very same one that, you know, the, the one to prepare for battle one. Here, let me, um... Can I click him from here? Maybe not. Here, we'll, we'll just go to the wiki real fast, and I'll just show you guys uh, which one it is. It's actually this Bardock right here. He will now Dokkan Awaken to Super Saiyan 3. So you guys on Global, you can go ahead and make sure to keep this guy, hang on to him. Because again, he does now Dokkan Awaken to uh, Super Saiyan 3 uh, Bardock. Um, Alright, so we also have uh, these two. Uh, the Super Saiyan 3 AGL GT Goku and the Super Saiyan 3 GT SDR Vegeta will both get Dokkan Awakenings. They're both pretty good. Uh, the Vegeta in particular, I would say, is a little shafted. I mean, what else is fucking new? Because this man doesn't have over in a flash, which hurts a lot. Because a Super Saiyan 3 team is, like, completely full of over in a flash units. <laughs> so, this Vegeta is not... He's just not going to be as good to get... You don't want him on there. You want... Like, okay... The Goku and Vegeta do almost exactly the same fucking thing, except Goku has over in a flash. So, I mean, Vegeta is beyond shafted again. I mean, it's a joke. It's a cool card and all that. Like, he, I wouldn't... He's not bad. It's just... He's not... I, I wouldn't run him on the team because he doesn't have over in a flash. That's the other reason I'm not too sure about running uh, Super Saiyan 3 Broly on the team. But I imagine once Mobile Man runs the numbers, uh, Super Saiyan 3 Broly will probably be optimal just because he does hit so fucking hard. But I myself probably won't run him because Super Saiyan 3 Broly, he doesn't have over in a flash. He's got prepare for battle, which again, the whole rest of the team has prepare for battle. Now, Broly doesn't really need key links because he's a nuker anyway. You want to get as many orbs as possible for Super Saiyan 3 Broly, but that is hurting the other units around him who are not going to get that key link. You guys get what I'm saying? So that's why... I'm I'm probably not going to run Bardock. Uh, also, oh, I, man, shout out to the Dokkan sub as well as the Hall. Always has these nice, clean posts for us to work with. And we got uh, Goresh down here. Uh, shout out to Goresh. I know he's a legendary global whale who's been shafted. Like, no one has ever been shafted on the level that this guy has. And I know it was uh, some conspiracy theorist dude on the Dokkan sub actually, uh, like, took Goresh's bad luck. And then that is what spawned off into that conspiracy theory like Bandai is like rigging the rates, like whole drama shit was related to Goresh's uh, unfortunate pulls. But shout out to him because he always does have a lot of good translations up. It's usually either him or Mayo, one of the two. Um, all right, so the Intelligent Super Saiyan 3 Bardock, he's Super Saiyan 3 category units, key plus 3 HP 130% up, and then attack and defense 170% up. So the Super Saiyan 3 team is going to be a fucking monster. It's going to hit hard as hell. Then, also, super intelligence type units get key 3, HP attack, and defense 90% up. Now, this is actually very interesting to me because, uh, you know, what Super Saiyan 3, or what super int teams, or what super int units would you consider running on this team? Uh, I'll tell y'all right away, Super Gogeta. Like, I might think about, like, no bullshit running Gogeta on this team. Like, I, I mean, 90%, he's not gonna be hitting as hard, but he still has his effective against all types. He lowers attack. Like, he has over and a flash with all these units. So, Gogeta will fit perfectly on here. I really might run him over, uh, some of these other units here. Now, LR Gohan as well. I could see there being a possibility that LR Gohan would be optimal on this team with Weerus. Uh, I, I don't, maybe not, just because Super Saiyan 3 Tech Angel Goku and Super Saiyan 3 Physical Gotenks, they are so powerful that the extra, uh, what would it be, the extra 80% attack that they're getting might overweigh uh, Gohan plus Weerus. So Gohan could be optimal on this team, I don't know. 
I'm not going to run LR Gohan on this team, though, because he really wouldn't fit. Um, again, he'll be fine because he can get the, the extra key per orb, but it'll be hurting the rest of the team around him. So I don't think Gohan will be very cohesive, but Gogeta, Super Gogeta, like, really could be good on this team, which is awesome. So Bardock Super Attack is the Rebellion Edge, which does immense damage, uh, medium chance to seal. Actually, real quick, um, let me head over to uh, the Dokkan Official, and we can actually bring up his uh, Super Attack right here. Uh, his Super Attack is out. Okay, I, I want to... I'm just going to mute this because this shit is always loud as hell. Uh, my face game shouldn't be blocking any of this either. So uh, they have uh, Bardock, Goku. What else is in there? Yeah, they're running a trash team. It's fine. Uh, again, I remember D Free said that like they're terrible at showcasing units. Like they should get me to showcase the units. And it's like, that's actually not a bad idea. <laughs> D Free should showcase the units for the official Japanese Twitter. I know we'd all be down with that. Uh, all right. So here's Bardock. Uh, this super attack is fucking sick, by the way. Come on! He's got the X slash from, like, Chrono Trigger or some shit. Like, that's beast right there. You know we're all gonna be running Bardock after that one. Also, what I just said, there's 500 jokes related to D-Free with Bandai. and the Like, there's so many joke possibilities that just open up right there that I'm just gonna let slide. But I endorse D-Free as the official showcaser for the, uh, Twitter. So he's got my vote. <laughs> All right, so uh, Bardock, he does immense damage, and he has a medium chance to seal. Now, that's interesting. A chance to seal. I understand why they didn't just make it to where he seals, because if he just had a guaranteed seal, this team would be o overpowered. Like, I, I, it would it would just be OP. The strongest fights, like, you know, Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta can't be sealed, but, like, Super Saiyan 3 Bardock could be sealed. Like, there's a lot of fights that could be sealed. If he sealed every time he supered, like, you just literally would not be... You would not get a challenge running this team. You you, you can't be touched. Like, this guy... Uh, this guy is going to be really freaking good, I think, in Super Battle Road. Like, now... Like, I've already beat Super Battle Road with Super Int, but with Super Saiyan 3 Bardock on there, too, fam? Like, it, it might actually be, like, not that difficult. Like... I might be able to, you know, knock this out, no problem. LR Gohan, Gogeta, Bardock, Ultra Instinct Goku. Like, hello, over in a flash across the board. Well, besides Gohan, but, like, that let's, that's, that could work. That could work, man. So his passive is Fierce Strike of a Super Awakening. Attack and defense 100% up when SA is launched, and then when HP is 70% or below. Super allies attack 40% up. So that's just, it's just fucking OP. Like, Super Saiyan 3 Bardock, I think, is OP. From what I'm, from what I'm seeing... I don't know, man. He, I think they actually... A lot of the category units have been kind of shafted in certain ways or a little underwhelming uh, outside of Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta and also outside of Omega Shenron. A lot of people say, but truth, Fiscal Vegito is unbeatable. It's like, yeah, he's great, but not having shocking speed hurts him a lot and hurts his team a lot. The Boo Saga team is kind of not fun to use because it's not very... Co for me, because it's not very cohesive. I don't like Extreme Int because it's not cohesive. Not a big fan of the Majin Buu Saga team either because it's not cohesive. Now, if I had Super Saiyan 3 Tech Angel Goku plus LR Majin Vegeta, maybe it would work better for me, but I'm just telling y'all how I feel about it. Now, this Bardock doesn't have a drawback that a lot of other units do. And then we look at his links, Super Saiyan, over in a flash, limit breaking form, prepared for battle, fierce battle, the first awakened and experienced fighters. Like, this man has prepared for battle and over in a flash. Super Saiyan, fierce battle and experienced fighters. So, I am, like, he links perfectly with Gogeta. <laughs> they, they, he, they're perfect linking partners. Hello? Yo. Gogeta is going to be sick on this team, man. I'm telling y'all. I'm going to really think about that, man. Yo. <laughs> They made Bardock so good. Like, I wasn't, like, really sitting here and, and, you know, gathering in all the info about how good this guy is, but Bardock is really fucking good, man. I'm really pleased. I guess here's the only drawback I could see. So he only gets his defensive bonus when his SA is launched, which means if you have him in the first slot and he's going to get attacked beforehand, uh, his defense, you know, 100% up won't be, uh, uh, you know, applicable there, but... I, th this is not the same case as, like, AGL Vegito, who is kind of fodder 
if, you know, and then you don't want to put him in the first slot. Like, Bardock, you know, this, I think this could work. This guy's really good. I'm definitely a fan of this unit. Um, he also, he's on the Super Saiyan 3 category, and he's also in the Resurrected category. Another reason Angel Golden Frieza could be on that banner, as well as giving people a chance to beat the uh, Extreme Z Battle Awakening, if you could pull Angel Golden Frieza, so that's pretty cool. Um, the AGL Super Saiyan 3 Bardock. Super Saiyan 3 category units, AGL in and physical types, uh, key 2, HP attack and defense 40% up. So that's pretty good. Like he, wow, actually, what the hell? His leader skill is really good. Whoa. I, is it? It has to, wait, could it be that it has to be Super Saiyan 3 category units that are AGL in and physical? That might be what it is. Because it's not Super Saiyan 3 category units plus AGL in and physical. I don't think so. That would be nuts, bro. So he also does the Rebellion Trigger, which is Supreme Damage and lowers defense of the enemy. Uh, his passive is Inspiring Saiyan. Attack 80% up when SA is launched. And defense 80% up for five turns from the start of battle. So, what? this guy's good. That He's fucking good. Yeah. Because, again, when you get these bonuses when SA is launched, like 80%, and then Super Saiyan 3 Bardock gets 100% when SA is launched, uh, that means they're going to hit ridiculously hard because they're factoring in links and stuff. When you determine, like, when to calc their damage... When it happens, when SA is launched, that's where you're going to get the highest numbers and the most damage dealt. So this Bardock is a very good option for Mono uh, AGL. Um, I'm probably going to do a showcase for him maybe right after this because I think I already have enough medals for him and I've already got him SA-10 and everything. So that's pretty cool. I'm a big fan of this unit. This guy's good. Uh, links are Saiyan Warrior Race, Super Saiyan, Prepare for Battle, Experience Fighter, Over in a Flash, Limit Breaking Form, and Fierce Battle. Holy shit. <laughs> Yo... Wow, the AGL Bardock is really good. I didn't they gave him both prepare for battle and over in a flash. Holy shit. So he he again he fits really well. Um he'll be able to link with Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta. He'll be able to link with EGL Super Saiyan 3 Goku. Uh he'll be able to link with Kaioken Blue Goku, LR Majin Vegeta. He's got fierce battle with a lot of these guys. Really good, man. Wow. And he categories are Super Saiyan 3 and Resurrected Warrior. Okay. So these are good. Now, these other two units are okay, but I, I don't think they're going to be as good as these. L let's take a look. Okay, so we have the Super Saiyan 3 Goku GT. Uh, leader skills, all types, HP attack and defense, 60% up. The Super Kamehameha does supreme damage to enemy and raises attack for three turns. That's pretty good. And then passive willpower on the battlefield, attack and defense, 90% up at the start of turn. So yeah, he's good. Golden Warrior, Super Saiyan, Limit Breaking Form, Fierce Battle, Over in a Flash, Kamehameha, and GT. Yeah, yeah, he fits, because there's now, we're getting to the point now where there's going to be, there's a lot of uh, possibilities for Over in a Flash on an AGL team, so you could run this guy, and he is going to be attacking pretty hard, and he's also going to be defending nicely, so yeah, he's he's good, I, I, I'm underestimating him a little bit, and then his category is Super Saiyan 3. Uh, then we have the uh, GT, Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta. His leader skill, all types, key plus 3, HP attack, and defense 30%. So a nice little baby uh, rainbow skill there. That's pretty good. Uh, rainbow leader skill. Just a little worse than uh, Mass Saiyan and Khalifa, although he gives more key. His super attack is the final flash, which does supreme damage to enemy and raises defense by 30% for 3 turns. I just realized I might be blocking some of this with the face cam. Oh, well, it's fine. It's fine. Uh, so... When we consider then attack and defense 90% up at the start of turn, plus him raising his defense by 30% for three turns, this guy could be a pretty good defensive unit on the team. Hmm. Now his links, Super Saiyan, Limit Breaking Form, Golden Warrior, Fierce Battle, GT, Royal Lineage, and Prodigies. I think that his links are what really lets him down. Uh, he's also in the Super Saiyan 3 category team. I wouldn't run this guy in the Super Saiyan 3 team without over in a flash. But he could be interesting on Mono STR because he does have GT with a lot of the units on there. Now, obviously, I've talked many times how I really like sh uh, shocking speed on my STR units. But, I mean, this guy is good. He could be a good, like, you know, sub option. I probably wouldn't run him, but I definitely will be doing, like, a showcase for him. Uh, he's a good defensive unit, though. There's no doubt about that. So, regardless, a pretty good update. Uh, the Bardocks are really good, and I'm really eager to try them out, man. So, thanks for watching, y'all, and later.